اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم فبدل الذین ظلموا قولا غیر الذی قیل لهم فانزلنا فَبَتَّلَ الَّذِينَ ظَلَمُوا قَوْلًا خَيْرَ الَّذِي قِيلَ لَهُمْ فَأَنزَلْنَا فَأَنزَلْنَا عَلَى الَّذِينَ ظَلَمُوا رِجْزًا مِّنَ السَّمَاءِ بِمَا كَانُوا يَفْسُقُونَ فَأَنزَلْنَا عَلَى الَّذِينَ ظَلَمُوا رِجْزًا مِّنَ السَّمَاءِ بِمَا كَانُوا يَفْسُقُونَ وَإِذْ اسْتَسْقَى مُوسَى لِقَوْمِهِ فَقُلْ نَضْرِبْ بِعَصَاكَ الْحَجَرِ وَإِذْ اسْتَسْقَى مُوسَى لِقَوْمِهِ فَقُلْ نَضْرِبْ رِبْعَ سَرْ وَإِذْ اسْتَسْقَى مُوسَى لِقَوْمِهِ فَقُلْ نَضْرِبْ بِعَصَالَ الْحَجِ وَإِذِ اسْتَسْقَى مُوسَى لِقَوْمِهِ فَقُلْ نَضْرِبْ بِعَصَاكَ الْحَجَرِ Lam is, the shape of Lam is totally different. The shape of Lam has, is longer, is more deeper, is more rounder. And Lam does not have this sign in, inside it. This is what Lam looks like. This is what Kaf looks like. وَإِذْ اسْتَسْقَى مُوسَى لِقَوْمِهِ فَقُلْ نَضْرِبْ بِعَصَاكَ الْحَجَرِ فَانْفَجَرَتْ مِنْ حُسْنَةَ عَشْرَةَ عَيْنَا فَانْفَجَرَتْ مِنْ حُسْنَةَ عَشْرَةَ عَنَا فَانْفَجَرَتْ مِنْ حُسْنَةَ فَانْفَجَرَتْ مِنْ حُسْنَةَ عَشْرَةَ عَيْنَا فَانْفَجَرَتْ مِنْ حُسْنَةَ عَشْرَةَ عَيْنَا فَانْفَجَرَتْ مِنْ حُسْنَةَ عَشْرَةَ عَيْنَا قَدْ عَلِمَ كُلُّ أُنَاسٍ مَشْرَبَهُمْ قَدْ عَلِمَ كُلُّ قَدْ عَلِمَ كُلُّ أُنَاسٍ مَشْرَبَهُمْ كُلُوا وَاشْرَبُوا مِنْ رِزْقِ اللَّهِ وَلَا تَعْسَوْ فِي الْعَرْضِ مُفْسِدِينَ 
kulu washrabu min rizqillahi wa la ta'afaw fil arzimu kulu washrabu min kulu washrabu min rizqillahi wa la Fil mufsidin. قلتم يا موسى لن نصبر على وإذ قلتم يا موسى لن نصبر على طعام من واحد فدع لنا فَذَعُ لَنَا رَبَّكَ يُخْرِجْ لَنَا مِمَّا تُنْبِتُ الْأَرْضُ مِنْ بَقْلِهَا وَقِثَّائِهَا فَذَعُ لَنَا رَبَّكَ يُخْرِجْ لَنَا مِمْ Matum bitul arzu min baqliha wa qisaiha wa qisaiha wa fumiha wa adasiha wa basaliha وَقِثَّائِهَا وَفُومِهَا وَعَدْسِهَا وَبَصَلِهَا قَالَ أَتَسْتَبْدِلُونَ الَّذِي هُوَ أَدْنَى بِالَّذِي هُوَ خَيْرٌ قال أتستبدلون الذي هو أدنى بالذي هو خير اهبطوا مصر فإن لكم ما سألتم اهبطوا مصر فإن لكم ما سألتم اهبطوا مصرا فإن لكم ما سألتم وضربت عليهم الذلة والمسكنة وضربت عليهم الذلة وضربت عليهم الظلة والمسكبن وضربت عليهم الظلة والمسكبن No, 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 no. Before the session, what were you doing, man? I was just reading. What were you reading? I was just reading, um, it's called A Series of Unfortunate Events. Before the session, please take some rest, 10 to 15 minutes. That would help you a lot. وَظُرِبَتْ عَلَيْهِمُ الظِّلَّةُ وَظُرِبَتْ وَظُرِبَتْ عَلَيْهِمُ الظِّلَّةُ وَالْمَسْكَنَةُ وَبَاءُوا بِغَضَبٍ مِنَ اللَّهِ وَبَاءُوا بِغَضَبٍ مِنَ اللَّهِ وَبَاءُوا 
بخضب من الله ذلك بأنهم كانوا يكفرون بآيات الله ويقتلون ذلك بأنهم كانوا يكفرون بآيات الله ويقتلون ويقتلون النبيين بغير الحق ويق ويقتلون النبيين بخير الحق ذلك بما عصوا وكانوا يعتدون ذلك بما عصوا ذلك بما عصوا وكانوا يعتدون صدق الله العظيم صدق الله العظيم Next five pages is your assignment. You have to read five pages. Send me the audio recording oh. tomorrow. All okay. right? Okay. Do you know, do you remember which page you are on? Um, it is what page is it? It is, it is page 28. Okay, I'll just write it down so that you don't forget. Sayyidina Anas who used to do uh, what Sayyidina Anas who used to do when a storm approached. Sayyidina Nazar bin Abdullah narrates relates one day while Hazrat Anas who was alive it became very dark during the daytime I went to him and said did you ever see much a thing that in the Prophet's time, I thought uh, I think they had to use such, but they replaced it with an M by mistake. It is such. Did you see? Uh, did you ever see such a thing in the Prophet's time? He replied, "I seek refuge in Allah. In those days, if the breeze grew a little stronger than normal, we would hasten towards the masjid." fearing the approach of the last day. Hazrat Abu Darda anhu narrates, whenever there was a storm, the Prophet wasallam would get perturbed and would go to the masjid. Who thinks of going to masjid nowadays, even at the time of the worst of calamities? Leave aside the common people, even those who regard themselves as good and practicing Muslims do not practice the sunnah. What a deterioration or deterioration. Anyway, the word is very difficult to pronounce. Uh, so, whatever these natural disasters occur, whether it's pandemic or tsunami or earthquakes, even wars and famines, 
they are the decisions of Allah based upon the actions of the majority of a nation or the majority of the people of earth. So as humans, uh, we have this responsibility to maintain <coughs> peace in this world. However, if the majority of the humans start disobeying Allah, then what happens is that Allah punish the inhabitants of the world. So even the animals are being affected because of our actions. Uh, this is the case. That is why whenever these kind of tragedies, even minor problems occur in our life, we have to seek forgiveness from Allah. So, difficult things happen in our life for two reasons. Number one, it can be a test for us. Allah wants to test our patience. Allah wants to prepare us for a bigger challenge to come in life. And in order to meet the requirements of that challenge, we have to develop enough strength. In order to develop enough strength, that is, you can call it a training session. So Allah brings a minor problem in our life so that we could face a major crisis in our life. Secondly, because of minor problems, this is also possible that Allah removes those major uh, problems in our life because we were patient in our minor problems. So as a reward, Allah will remove major disaster so for example if a person is <laughs> if a person is suffering from fever uh, it may boost and enhance his immune system which can fight back or prevent a greater disease so fever in this particular scenario becomes a blessing in disguise are you getting my point yes yeah Second reason for uh, facing difficulties in life is that our actions are not pleasing to Allah. And Allah is uh, trying to rectify our character through the hardships and difficulties which He is throwing our way in our life. There are two outcomes when we face difficulties in life. If we come closer to Allah, if we come closer to Allah as a result of any difficulty which we faced in life, then it means that it was a test. However, if we go further away from Islam, as a sign of rebelliousness or we are showing our anger and dissatisfaction with the decisions of Allah, then that is a true punishment. Because whatever hardship, whatever harm, whatever problem we are facing in this world, we will be immensely rewarded for our patience on that problem in, the, in afterlife. So a scholar said a very good thing, a very wise thing. The more thankful we are, the more blessings will be brought in our life by Allah. Allah will increase our blessings. The more unthankful we are, the more sufferings will come in our way. So whatever happens in our life is a direct response of our behavior and our actions on the events which are already occurring in our life are you getting my point yeah yeah so summarize all of this we have to be patient 
at all times and we have to be thankful at all times and that is how our life becomes better you can call amina now wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullah how you amina i'm doing good how are you alhamdulillah i'm so fine أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم Please read وأنه تعالى لا جَدُّ رَبِّنَا مَا مَتَّخَذَ صَاحِبًا وَأَنَّهُ تَعَالَى جَدُّ رَبِّنَا جَدُّ رَبِّنَا مَا وَأَنَّهُ تَعَالَى جَدُّ رَبِّنَا 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 Good job. وَأَنَّهُ تَعَالَى جَدُّ رَبِّنَا وَأَنَّهُ تَعَالَى جَدُّ رَبِّنَا مَتَّخَذَ وَأَنَّهُ تَعَالَى جَدُّ رَبِّنَا مَتَّخَذَ وَأَنَّهُ تَعَالَى جَدُّ رَبِّنَا مَتَّخَذَ Read whatever comes in your mind. But do not hesitate, do not stutter, do not doubt. وَأَنَّهُ تَعَالَى جَدُّ رَبِّنَا مَتَّخَذَ وَأَنَّهُ تَعَالَى جَدُّ رَبِّنَا مَتَّخَذَ Good job. The only thing you have to remember, reverse Dhamma. We have to stretch the who for one second. وَأَنَّهُ تَعَالَى جَدُّ رَبِّنَا مَتَّخَذَ وَأَنَّهُ تَعَالَى جَدُّ رَبِّنَا مَتَّخَذَ صَاحِبَةٌ it is not tum, it is tum because ta has double fatha on it. Sahibatun wala walada. 
só só sei só reiva tão 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 olha olha da wa anahu ta'ala jaddu rabbina mattakhadha sahibatan wala walada wa anahu ta'ala jaddu rabbina mattakhadha sahibatan wala Good job. You did it. Okay. You read now. Wa annahu kana yaqulu safihuna ada ala lohi shatata next wa wa anna wa anna wa anna wa anna fa fa wa wa anna an ai Alla taqul al-insu Alla taqul al-insu Don't stretch the su, come on Alla taqul al-insu Alla taqul al-insu Wal وَالْجِنُّ عَلَى اللَّهِ قَذِبًا وَأَنَّهُ كَانَ رِجَالٌ مِنَ الْإِنسِ يعوذون برجال من الجن فزادوهم ألف مدى فزادوهم فزادوهم رهقا Good job وَأَنَّهُمْ فَنُّوا كَمَا فَنَاتُمْ It is not far. Look, the shape is totally different from far. It is ظَنَاتُمْ ظَنَاتُمْ no, no, no. Focus, focus. This is not Sheen. What are you doing, little girl? Idgham rule. Idgham rule. Allayyab asallahu. Allayyab. No, 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 Allain yab'asa Allahu Allain yab'asa 
The action of Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam at the time of solar eclipse. The sun once was in eclipse in the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam's time. The Sahaba left their jobs, even the young boys practicing archery hastened towards the masjid to know what the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam would do at that time. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam started Salah of two rakah, which were so long that some people fainted and fell down. He kept in his Salah and said, O oh my Lord, thou hast said that thou wouldest not punish them as long as I am with them and so long as they seek thy forgiveness. This refers to a verse in the Quran wherein Allah says, but Allah would not punish them while thou art with them, nor will he punish them while they seek forgiveness. He then addressed the people saying, You should hasten for Salah whenever you happen to find the sun or the moon in eclipse. If you happen to know the signs of the last day as I do, then surely you would weep more and laugh less. In all such happenings, repair to Salah, pray to Allah, and distribute alms to the poor. The Prophet's weeping the whole night. The Prophet once, sallallahu alayhi wasallam, kept weeping the whole night through, repeating again and again the following verse. If thou punish them, they are thy slaves, and if thou forgive them, the only art, the mighty, the wise. It is said about Imam Abu Hanifa alayh, that he also once wept the whole night reciting the following verse of the Quran in Tahajjud. But I want ye, O ye guilty this day. This verse means that on the day of judgment, the guilty will be asked to separate themselves from the good and will not be allowed to mix with them as they were doing in the worldly life. Why should not the people with fear of Allah in their hearts weep in anxiety regarding which class they will belong to on that day? Hmm. Sayyidina Abu Bakr anhu, and the fear of Allah According to our belief, Abu Bakr who is the most exalted person after the Prophets. May peace be upon them all. The Prophet ﷺ himself conveyed to him the glad tidings of his being the head of a group of persons in paradise. The Prophet ﷺ once remarked, Abu Bakr's name shall be called out from all the gates of paradise and he will be the first of my followers to enter it. With all these virtues and privileges, Abu Bakr who used to say, I wish I were a tree 
that would be cut and done away with. Sometimes he would say, I wish I were a blade of grass whose life ended with the grazing by some beast. He also said, I wish I were a hair on the body of a woman. Once he went to a garden where he saw a bird singing, he see What's a moment? A believer. Ah. Moment. The word moment comes from Iman. Iman means faith. And uh, mm -hmm. moment means the one who has faith, which means a believer. Once he went to a garden where he saw a bird singing, he, see, he sighed or seed, whatever you say, deeply and said, O oh bird, how lucky you are. You eat, you drink and fly under the shade of the trees and you fear no reckoning, reckoning of the day of judgment. I wish I were just like you. Sayyidah Rabia Aslami radiyallahu anhu narrates, Once I had some argument with Abu Bakr radiyallahu anhu, during which he uttered a word that I did not like. He realized it immediately and said to me, Brother, please say that word back to me in retaliation. I refused to do so. He persisted and even spoke of referring the matter to the Prophet wasallam. But I did not agree to utter that word. He got up and left me. A few people of my clan remarked, Look how strange the person does wrong to you and on the top of that he threatens to complain to the Prophet I said, do you know who he is? He is Abu Bakr radiallahu anhu. To displease him is to displease the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam. And to displease the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam is to displease Allah. And if Allah is displeased, then who can save Rabia from ruin? I went to the Prophet ﷺ and narrated the whole story to him. He said, you were quite right in refusing to utter that word, but you could have said this much in reply, O oh Abu Bakr anhu, may Allah forgive you. Look at the fear of Allah in Hazrat Abu Bakr anhu. He is so anxious to clear his accounts in this world and no sooner has a slightly unpleasant word been addressed by him to a person <coughs> than he requests him and requests him to say that word back to him in retaliation. He is so particular in this that he threatens to have that retaliation done through the intervention of the Prophet ﷺ. We are in the habit of saying offensive words to others but we fear neither the retaliation nor the reckoning in the hereafter. All right, little girl. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Wa alaikum as -salam.